Hi guys, it's Panther Sam back with another video, and today I'm going to be reacting to DeAndre Hopkins signing with the Tennessee Titans. DeAndre Hopkins is coming off three seasons with the Cardinals and was released, and has finally signed a contract with a new team, which is the Tennessee Titans. So DeAndre Hopkins is coming off the last two seasons, he didn't play in all the games. Last season was due to his suspension and also got injured, and then the season before that he also got injured for a couple games. In this past season, 2022, he played in nine games and he did get 717 yards. And then in 2021, he played in 10 games and got 572 yards. So I think DeAndre Hopkins is still a really good receiver. He's just starting to get a little bit up there in age now at this point in his career, but I still think he has at least a few years left in him. I do like his decision with signing with the Titans because they clearly do not have a number one receiver right now. Their number one before DeAndre Hopkins would have been Traylon Burks, the rookie from last season. So I think he's going to be able to go in, be the number one target, get a lot of receiving yards, put up a lot of good stats, and then be able to, to go to a contender in a couple of years. And even with the Titans, they could still be a contender. They have a very good team, and they are in the AFC South, which really their only threat should be the Jaguars, because I think the Texans and Colts are still currently rebuilding, so I don't think they're ready to compete yet. And also, the Titans are going to have an easy schedule this year relative compared to what they've had the last few years since they didn't make the playoffs this past year. So I think Ryan Tannehill is a really good quarterback for this situation for DeAndre Hopkins. He's still a veteran, has experience. Obviously, he's not like Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen, which are some other teams they were rumored that Hopkins would go to. It's just in Kansas City, he would probably just not get as much of opportunities since Patrick Mahomes can make it work with almost any receiver. And then in Buffalo, they already have Gabe Davis. They already got Stephon Diggs, etc. So he would probably be like a third or fourth receiver on that team. And for Hopkins, I don't think he's looking to be the third or fourth option on a team. So I think overall this is a good signing by the Titans because they fill a position of need in receiver. And then I also think it's a good signing for Hopkins because it'll help him probably get another big contract in the future. And he signed a two-year $26 million with the Titans. That's the contract he's on. And the first year is $12 million, but can go up to $15 million with incentives. So I think this should be really good for the Titans offense as well, with Derrick Henry being obviously the running game. Derrick Henry's very good. And then now can help the team expand into the passing game a little bit better with having a really good number one receiver that the defense is going to have to worry about. So they can't just key in on the run. And if they key in on the pass, Derrick Henry's just going to run up the middle and get all those yards, and then they're kind of screwed. So kind of got to play it both ways now. But we'll have to see how good DeAndre Hopkins can play because obviously last season – he only played in nine games, so we'll have to see if he could stay on the field and play a lot of games at a high level for the Titans. So let me know your opinions down below in the comments section. And if you haven't already, you can go check on Instagram. I just posted about I went to Atlanta to see a Braves versus White Sox game. It'll be in the link in the description to get to the Instagram. And if you're interested in NBA content like the Hornets and stuff, I do have a Hornets fan page, which I'll link in the description as well. Just let me know down below if you have any suggestions or anything like that. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.